I am sitting here with okay. former Big Brother winner Ian, a titan of this game, who was just evicted five to three. Say it isn't so. Mm. I have to ask, starting about the way you're dressed. Yes. That tells me you thought you'd be sitting out here with me tonight because you don't look like you're dressed for competition. Am I right or what's... Um, uh, yeah, I, I expected to go. I did have a pair of sneakers ready just in case, but I just wanted to get the vest on. <laughs> You've never gone to the jury house. Never. What do you think it's going to be like? I hope that there's a nice pool and that the hot tub's ready and that I can have some really good food. <laughs> now, as a former winner... Absolutely. And now as a member of the jury, mm -hmm. without giving up away too sure. much, what is your criteria going to be on, fin on finale night when you are one of the votes sure. looking for a winner? Yeah, so I'm going to look at three things, and I'm going to weight them all equally. One, I'm going to look at competitive prowess. I'm going to see how many competitions did you win? Were you playing those actively? Were you winning them at the right time? Two, I'm going to look for your strategic uh, you know, agency, perhaps you could say and what you were doing in that front. And then lastly, the social aspect. Did I like hanging out with you? Were you someone that I found annoying? Just did you leave a bad taste in my mouth when I left? Things like that. So it is going to be a little bit personal. Uh, I mean, I don't really have a sour taste towards anyone, so I guess that's the good thing. But that was built into that formula just in case. But uh, it's one third, and it, 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 there is personal, because it is a social and personal game. So if you're going to count how many competitions someone did win, were, and you said you wanted was, to lay low. Yes, correct. Were you holding back from winning? Yeah, I was sandbagging pretty much every single comp. But then, so that means you have so much confidence that had you stayed in, you would have started to try to win from correct. this point yeah. forward? Yeah, so actually week seven was when I started to turn it up last time. So I just say, first six weeks, I don't want anything to do with HOH. Um, obviously, I'm not really counting comps, but I'm looking at that. I, I want to see you win more than one. Okay. Who do you think is running this house right now? I think, uh, I think Tyler and Cody are playing the best games, for sure. Um, there's not really much question about it. I think Nicole's doing really well. But I think Tyler's the best player in there, for sure. When I saw him, uh, when we walked in, I was like, this is the shark. He's the best one, for sure. Emotionally, mm -hmm. personally, friendship-wise, are you rooting for anyone? I mean, uh, I definitely would like to see Nicole win again. Um, we obviously are really tight out here. Uh, outside, so I definitely would like to see her win. Who do you want to see follow you next week into mm. jury? Well, let's see. I guess I would say let's let's make it exciting. Let's see Cody come. Let's see Cody go. Why? It just needs a shakeup. We need huh. to see the game get mixed up a bit. Who do you think you will see? Probably <laughs> like Kevin or something. Dave on maybe. Expect the unexpected. You never know. Absolutely. It all depends who wins HOH tonight. For sure. Which is still happening as we speak. Really? I hope I, I didn't miss a puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Any final thoughts? No. I mean, thanks for having me. I'm, I'm really uh, happy with the experience in the end. It was a rough past few days, but I fought hard, and uh, that's it. Left nothing on the table. They'll never take away your 6-1 to one victory <laughs> over Dan Giesling, a former winner. You will always have that. That is true. Thanks for keeping it classy. Of course. You're a good guy. Thank you. Thanks, Ian.